Alright you guys, what is up? As you can see by the title, I'm about to throw an American football for the first time in my entire life. Now, some of you guys are going to be proud of me. I went out, I listened to your suggestions, before I watch a guy called Aaron Rodgers, apparently I was watching a, a video of um, Jordy Nelson, and unbeknown to me, I was actually paying more attention to the throws than I was Jordy Nelson. And the reason is because the, the legend, Aaron Rodgers, was throwing to him. Now I still haven't seen an Aaron Rodgers highlight video, but what I do have is one of these. Now I assume this is full size. I hope it is. It's probably a really shit ball, but it's Nike and it's, what does it say? Vapor 247. So, you know, it, it, I, I've got to be honest guys, it, it feels good. It feels good, man. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do before I do that, I'm going to get the screen recorder going and I'm going to watch one video on how to throw the football. Alright, because I do need, I need like a little bit of, I need a tip. Basically I just want to know, do you, do you put your finger back there or do you really try and grab it with your hand and sort of roll it with your fingers? Or, you know, what do you do? So, without further ado, let's roll the intro and get learning how to throw a football. And then I'm going to take you guys down to the park and have a go on camera for the first time. It should be very interesting. Let's do this. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. I'm all the way up. Oh, right, everybody. Let's do this. How to throw an NFL ball. There you go. How to throw a pop proper spiral. The art of throwing the perfect spiral. The art of the spiral. We've got to watch that. We've got to. This is what gonna is be... the key to throwing a perfect spiral? You're asking the wrong heart. Bro, what's the key, man? Uh, some would say Jim didn't throw a perfect spiral either. You'll see it. He's still throwing a pretty good ball. Thanks. Where's his hands? Where's his hands? Where's his hands? Ooh, not bad. The best of them. I can lay it out there about 35 yards. A good day. I think the high school coaches missed my calling. I think I should have been a quarterback. I'd probably still be playing, you know, backup role. I just threw the ball about 80 yards. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> okay, Rex. So, how do you throw a spiral? You just let it fly. I have no idea. You just you let it fly. You, you let it go. Only three current NFL head coaches actually played quarterback in the league. So, to learn how to throw a spiral, we got smart and asked the Princeton grad. Wow, how you throw a perfect spiral? It starts with the grip. My deal was always to get as many of these laces as you can get. So I put two fingers on the laces. I always try to get that that finger in that seam right there. Hmm, okay. So you want a couple of fingers at least on the laces. You want to get this back finger somewhere in the seam to give you a bit of grip. To really give it some oomph. Carry on, buddy. There. It's a little bit like probably the golf swing. People say, don't hold it too tight, don't hold it too loose. We always talk with our quarterbacks about having the elbow above the shoulder and making sure you're coming down. Uh, oftentimes people, when they try, elbow to, above the spot, shoulder. They try to do this, your hand has to come down and, and different people will tell you different things. Okay, your but hand's got to come down. Donate your wrist or just be down with your wrist, but the ball ultimately comes off of these last two fingers and then hopefully you have the right grip and the right control and a consistent clean motion with a spiral. As Troy Aikman. You know what, man? After listening to all of that, I think it's all natural. I think I'm just going to have to get down there and throw it. But we're going to continue. Long time backup, Jason Garrett saw a lot of pretty spirals. The ball came out of his hands the way he wanted to, over and over and over again. And you know, I tell our quarterbacks now we'd go days. Oh, that's a nice throw. And throw it. It was a great challenge for me as a quarterback who was thrown next to him on a daily basis to just proved that I was in the same ballpark, and clearly I wasn't, but uh, he certainly made me better just watching him. Watching the great ones throw a perfect pass is a privilege, and those who have made a career in coaching Beautiful. all have their favorites. I've been around some good ones now, so I've been lucky enough to be around Brett Favre, who had an absolute rifle. There's this little oh. that comes off the ones that have a gun, and Donovan and Brett both had that. Oh, that's sick. So he wasn't everyone's favorite. 
Well, Joe Namath has been so critical of us lately, I'm not going to say him. Um, sorry, Joe. <laughs> A little payback on you, buddy. But, no, he was phenomenal. <laughs> he, he, he really did. He could really throw it. Um, I don't want to mention the dolphin. You know, you could. It's easy to say Marino, but he's a you know a dolphin, so no. It looks like Will Ferrell. Warren Moon could really spin it. Whew, he could spin it. Another perfect pass by Warren Moon. It's a good ball way to spin it, kid. That's the way to spin it. Feel good? Yeah, spin it, good. This let's go friggin' doom. Spin it. <laughs> spin it. Spin it. Spin it. That's what you say. Well, I say spin it wide. That's real interesting because in rugby, I'm like, spin it, spin it. I literally am. I'm out in the wing. I'm calling it. Spin it. Spin it wide. Spin it. But you guys, spin it. Spin it long. Okay. In case you haven't figured it out, coach speak for spiral is spinning it. And the great ones seem to spin it more than the rest. Tom can really spin it. That guy Tom can, can really spin, spin it, man. Really well. Joe Flacco can spin it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Football. He can spin it. I think guys are really spinning well. Oh man, I hope I can spin it. I hope I can spin it, guys. I really do. I have a very good wrist action. Is that Aaron Rodgers? It is Aaron Rodgers. Because the more times your spiral rotates, Legends. I'm going to watch you. Uh, the easier the ball is to catch. spin it the easier it is for the guys to see in the air and, and the adjust to the speed of the ball and also it hits their hands softer. I'm not sure what the physics is exactly on that. I, I'm not physics major but I can promise you that a, a ball that spirals more is a lot easier to catch. This man would agree. Because of centrifugal force the spiral is going to be far more stable and easier to predict from a receiver's point of view because it's going to hold its position. So you've got, it's a little bit like a bicycle wheel. The faster it's spinning the more stable it is. Well, all right, guys. I'm excited. You know what? I'm not excited to be good at it. I'm excited to go down the field and play some catch because that, that's the kind of thing I love. I've always loved going down the field with the rugby ball, kicking it to a mate, passing it to a mate. You know, it, you don't have to be running anywhere, just standing still and just passing it back and forth. You know, if I did live, live in America, if I did grow up in America, I would have been out there playing hockey in the street, playing catch with my mates, with my dad, you know, playing football, Acting like I'm a, a star running back, acting like I'm a star uh, wide receiver, you know, it would have been epic. But I'm doing it now, so I'm, I'm reliving my childhood, guys. I honestly am, with my naivety to this game. But I'm learning more and more every day, and I absolutely love it. And I tell you what, man, one day, one day I might play a game in Australia, most probably. But well, I'm definitely not going to be a quarterback. I'll tell you that much. But before. We do all that before before that. We're going to go down to the field. So if you have stuck around this long, I appreciate it. And I will see you down at the field in just a second for me to embarrass myself.